surface area of a cylinder, understanding the formula. Specifically, we are going to talk about cylinders. And just like in the previous video, I have two formulas here for you. One is the total surface area for a cylinder, and one is the lateral surface area for a cylinder. What I want us to do is go ahead and look at a cylinder. Okay, so we have a cylinder here. It has two cylindrical, um, or I'm sorry, two circular bases. Um, and then it has this distance right here, which is the height. So let's watch what happens as we unfold to show its net. So when we show the net, you can see that we still have the two circles and then we have a rectangular face. Now, the rectangular face represents the lateral surface area. So to find this area right here of the rectangle, we need to multiply this distance here by this distance here. Well, we know that this vertical distance right here is the distance between the bases, and that's the height of the prism. So we multiply the height of the prism times this length right here. Well, what is this length right here? Think about uh, prisms. This length right here is the perimeter of the circle. But remember, when we're talking about perimeter of circles, we're talking about circumference. So if we take this, this length right here and we wrap it around the circle, we can actually find the circumference. So you take the circumference of the circle, which gives you this length right here, and multiply it by the height to get your um, lateral surface area. You can see that 2 pi r is how we find the um, circumference of a circle. You can also call that pi times diameter. But in our formula, it is written as 2 pi r. So 2 pi r would give us this distance right here, or the circumference of the base, times the height. So let's go back and look at our formula. So for lateral surface area, 2 pi r just the 2 pi r represents the circumference of the base. So we'll label that circumference of the base. And then the h represents the height of the prism. So the circumference of the base times the height of the prism or the specifically the cylinder. So um, lateral surface area, again, find the circumference of the circle, the circular base, and multiply it by the height of the cylinder. Now let's go back and talk about uh, total surface area. So um, if I want to find the total surface area, I'm going to have to find the, the area of my um, rectangle plus the area of each of the circles. Well, how do you find the area of a circle? Pi r squared but I have two of them, so I need to multiply that by two. So this two pi r times h, I'm just gonna go ahead and call that lateral um, surface area because we already have the um, formula for that. Now, two pi r squared, well, remember pi r squared, so just the pi r squared is the formula to find the area of a circle. Oops. So we'll label that area of a circle. Um, and in this case, it's the base. Um, so the area of the circular bases, uh, well, the base, and then we have two of them. So here's your lateral surface area, just right here, and then um, plus your um, area of your two circles. So you'd have to combine those to find the total surface area. So again, for this video, what I want you to be able to explain to me is why the formula for lateral surface area is what it is, as well as why the formula for total surface area is what it is.